Yo, what is going on YouTube? We are back again with the second episode of the Ark How-To series, um, and today we're going to be covering how to tame a dire wolf. Now, a dire wolf is one of the cooler creatures in the game, in my opinion, um, for several different reasons. One, they get a pack bonus um, when you have multiple uh, of them tamed, and you've got them in a pack, as well as the fact that they do not have to be saddled to be ridden. Um, so, for example, when this one finishes taming, we'll be able to just hop right on its back and uh, ride it around and not have to build a saddle or anything like that. Um, another, that's a feature I like about these wyverns as well. You don't have to have a saddle for a wyvern. Um, so it just kind of makes your life a little bit easier. You don't have to gather any hide, fiber, or anything like that to, uh, to make the saddle for the creature after you tame it. Um, now, so what I've done here is I went ahead and, and grabbed a dire wolf. Um, one that's good level is actually a 145. Um, we'll look at it real quick in the spyglass if it'll let me up. There it is. Male 145, and he's actually giving us a good little pose to look at him. Um, but I placed him in this trap that I have built outside my base. Um, and this is actually a trap I recommend um, because it works pretty good for a lot of different tames. Um, all it is is a stone dino gate frame and gate. Um, as well as some stone uh, foundations and then stone door frames. Um, I recommend stone uh, so that you don't, um, the, the, the tame or creature that you have inside can't damage uh, the, the structure. Um, you can obviously do metal as well. Um, any strong Stone or stronger um, is definitely my recommendation. Um, but all you do is just grab a flying tame if you have a tame that can fly and uh, drop them in there. Or the other option is to... Uh, run them in through the door and then either have a tribe mate or yourself close the door behind them um, after they run in. Um, but for the sake of me having one outside my base, I usually just fly things into it because uh, that's a little bit easier uh, for me to manage. Um, but without further ado, we're going to hop off and we're going to knock this thing out um, real quickly and then we're going to have to go get some prime um, to get it tamed. Um, but yeah, so as you see, it'll probably aggro to me here in a second. Yep, see, it's not very... Not very excited about me hanging out with it, but we're just going to go ahead and start shooting it um, with these trank darts uh, right there in the rear end um, so long as it's there. And yeah, it'll a lot of times it'll start to attack your trap, um, but just pump it up with narcos and eventually it'll go down. It kind of glitches a little bit, uh, but it can't break out. Uh, it can't fit through the, the two... Uh, the door frames that are placed too high um, and that's also to keep things from jumping out that shot didn't register somehow that one did and eventually you'll know it's getting close to going unconscious as it starts to run away um, we're using the same crossbow and trank arrows just like we used in the pteranodon tame if you hadn't seen that that was the first episode in this uh, series and there it goes um, it was down, but yes, we used the uh, same method in terms of uh, knockout method in the first episode. Be sure to check that out if you hadn't already. Um, but there it is. The dire wolf is down. And so now we're going to go get some raw prime meat for it so that it can have uh, one of its favorite foods to eat. And uh, we will get along with that tame. All right, so we are back at the dire wolf uh, with some prime meat in hand uh, just to be able to ensure that we get a good taming effectiveness on it so it'll be a good level um, when it finishes out. Um, I will say uh, for this specific tame I do not, I'm not going to use any narcotic just because my rates are high enough uh, on my server uh, to not need it uh, for a dire wolf tame but I would recommend carrying some narcotic around with you just to be safe uh, in case it uh, starts to run low on torpor so you can uh, make sure it stays unconscious because that is one of the more frustrating things in the game is if a dire wolf or any tame for that matter uh, were to wake up and uh, you know not let you finish the tame that's just very frustrating uh, but as it sits right now it's looking like it's gonna get 72 levels um, which will put it at a level 217 if I'm not mistaken yep that is correct 217 which is pretty good uh, it's gonna be a uh, fairly well maxed uh, 145 uh, and colors aren't anything spectacular but it uh, it's not bad I mean typical traditional wolf colors that it you know it fits the mold it's not any of the crazy event colors or anything like that um, but yeah, so this is kind of a better look at that trap um, that I'm using uh, I think it's a two by four is what I have down you can do two by three you can do two by five uh, or you mean and even bigger and wider if you so desire uh, this is just kind of the base trap that I always use um, and then stone door frames uh, too high just to prevent anything from glitching out or jumping over the top um, and then a door to be able to walk the thing out or to possibly run it in and then close the door behind it uh, when you trap it 
uh, for the first time, obviously, as I previously stated, I just used my Wyvern um, to fly it in and drop it because uh, I went and got it from the cold. I was freezing my butt off over there, so I figured I'd bring it back somewhere a little bit warmer. Um, and it's already at 60%. The Dire Wolf Tame is not a very long one. Its food drops pretty quickly. Um, and so I'll only have to do that one uh, prime run to be able to get it uh, finished off and tamed. Now, you, you also can Bola a Dire Wolf. Um, that is another option. Um, obviously, with my method that I use for this specific tame, that wasn't necessary because it was already trapped in the confined area. Um, but the Bola also immobilizes it just like it immobilized the Pteranodon in the first episode. Um, so the Bola is a very useful uh, tool uh, to be used against smaller tames and things like that. Um, things that are that are small enough to be affected by it. Um, and there are several apps and, and things you can use, resources, that will tell you whether a creature can be bullet or not, uh, which is quite helpful. Alright everyone, so our dire wolf is getting ready to finish. He's at 90% and getting ready to eat again. Uh, we'll finish out at level 217, I believe, uh, with a almost 99, almost 100% tame effectiveness, 99.7, uh, um, which is pretty solid. Uh, not much more you can ask for is getting all the levels except for... Uh, if we got a perfect tame, we use kibble or something like that. Um, but yeah, so there it is. The dire wolf has finished, and we're gonna we'll display it a little bit, ride around on it. Um, and like I mentioned before, you don't have to have a saddle for it. Um, um, have a little bit too much weight for it to show its true speed. Um, but you don't have to have a saddle. You can hop right on and ride it and use it. Um, which is which is just a quality of life thing, which is nice. Uh, and they jump pretty good as well. Um, as well as the attack animations, kind of just a bite. Um, and because it's not in a pack, I can't do the howl. Um, I don't have any other nearby dire wolves. I would display that uh, if I could. Um, but with that being said, guys, that is going to be the end of today's episode. Uh, we got our dire wolf tamed. And actually, I take that back. We're going to get to see it fight. Um, and I don't know if you guys could see that. Uh, one of the cool things that it has uh, as a feature for the the tame. Uh, it shows you where dead bodies are with that little white uh, plus sign. Um, but it also, uh, when they're being damaged, you can see the progression of the damage um, kind of as the, the, the plus will get darker once it fit, hits 50% health and then lower. The plus will get darker. It'll go from a uh, yellowish orange to a red, which is another uh, kind of cool feature of the dire wolf. Uh, but as I was saying before, we were rudely interrupted by some bugs. Um, that is going to be the end of today's episode. I do appreciate everyone for tuning in uh, for the second episode of this series. Uh, let me know what you think of it so far. Um, you know, is it, is it helpful? Um, and are you getting, you know, getting some ideas on, uh, you know, kind of displayed the trap this time so you kind of got to see that? Are you getting some ideas on how to, how to knock out some tames and uh, to, to, you know, acquire some more things for your tribe? Um, but yeah, with that being said, uh, we are going to call it here. Um, I do, again, appreciate everybody, and we will catch you in the next one. Peace.